Let's speed paint some mummies. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we are going to speed paint some mummies from one page rules and we are going to use those for the Silver Bayonet Egypt when that book finally comes out. But I figured I'd get a jump on it and who doesn't love painting mummies? It's a weird sentence. I just said it. Let's move on. So all month on the channel is Monster Month. We're doing monsters and monster hunters, everything to do with the undead and creatures. And it's just Halloween brings that out in me and I like to do that for October. So it's good, I like it. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's paint these mummies. First thing we will do is give them a spray of black and a zenithal of white from above through the airbrush. And then we'll move on to skeleton horde with a little bit of express medium. I also threw in a couple drops of pallid bone. This is going to go over the entire miniature. So just slather it on. Don't let it pool uh, too much. Use your brush, wick away the paint, move it around, but get it over the entire miniature. Then we're going to take some bone white here and we're going to dry brush over everything that we just did. So mainly we're just coloring the wrappings at this point, but we're going over the entire miniature because it's going to give us a little bit of like uh, slap chop feel once we're done finishing. So it's just bringing up all the colors again. And you can see here dry brush versus not dry brush. So a lot brighter. We're going to take some plasmatic bolt, some periwinkle purple and some tidal wave. And we're just going to go in and start filling in little spots. Like these are just colors. I looked through some history books and colors that were kind of big in Egyptian, uh, clothing and apparel i don't know if they called it apparel back then because it's probably not apparel like i think of like nike or under armor as apparel not uh mummy priest uh garments clothes mummy clothes none of it sounds right does it so here is the uh, periwinkle purple and i feel like that's a little too dark so i'm going to switch to purple swarm and i'm going to use that for my purple instead and this is uh much brighter, poppier sort of uh, purple. I, I prefer this quite a bit. So basically I'm just picking out different spots, painting them different colors. Uh, this is the tidal wave here. Um, just going through and filling in some of those spots, but staying away from the wrappings. Next, I'm gonna take some Dwarven Gold here and I'm gonna go through and do all the parts that I haven't done basically. So the shin guards, any of the armor bits, the trim, uh, the skull in his belt, any of this stuff, I'm gonna go through and put gold on all of that. And we're not too concerned about screwing up our zenithal at this point by putting an opaque color over top. It doesn't really matter, they're quick and easy speed painted mummies. Next, we're gonna take some ruddy fur and this is just gonna go on the back of some of those shin guards. Let's talk about ancient Egypt for one second. Um, mummifying someone is crazy <laughs> like taking their organs and putting them in jars and then like scrambling their brains and pulling it out with a hook it's awful plus as soon as you do that eventually brendan fraser will show up and ruin everything like the last person you want to show up at your egyptian afterlife party is brendan fraser what's his name in the movie rick <laughs> We're gonna grab some malignant green and this is gonna go on any of the spots that their skin is showing. So on their face, you know, some have uh, their feet, their knees, their hands, any spots where that's coming out. And we're just gonna put a thin layer of that on there. That's the mummy uh, skin rotting, I guess. I'm gonna take some Reichlin flesh shade and we're gonna use this over top of all the gold that we just did. So we're just gonna shade that gold down, make it a little bit, uh, have a more richer color with that flesh shade. We take some sand golem because I did do their bases before I airbrushed them and just put that on the base. I'll put a black rim around the base and these guys are finished. And for quick and easy paint jobs, these were a ton of fun to do. Nothing strenuous, really easy. They turned out uh, great. Oh, just a lot of fun to paint up some different creatures for this game. 
As I said at the beginning of the video, these uh, 3D prints are from One Page Rules. They are super cool uh, miniatures. I really like them. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can pick these up. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a great day. Remember the scene in the movie where the mummy screams at him and he just screams back at it? Doesn't seem like a good tactic for fighting the undead. I don't think uh, screaming back at them works very well. This is the stupidest thing I could have done. This is so stupid.